week and my building, the Flying Dutchman. You can see I've made some progress on the build, but I have some uh, surprising developments that you will definitely want to stay tuned to see. I have a lot of the shell lights pre-wired. I used uh, 24 AWG magnet wire. It's a type wire that they make little electric motors with. It has a real thin insulator on it and it's a thin wire. I could have gotten thinner but I wanted something that had a little more strength to it. It's worked very well to the point that I have all of the lower lights wired. This upper one is all the positive wires. The lower one is the negative wire so I can keep them separated. They'll be hooked to all those resistors and set up here in the back of the ship. I had a breakthrough on how to make the lantern shell idea that I came up with. And again, it amazes me how this miniature belt sander comes in very handy. My first attempt was to drill a couple small holes back here, feed the lamp in from the opening through, but it just wasn't fitting. What I've done is taken the belt sander and I can tell about where it should enter and it wouldn't affect. So it's the back side of the shell. And I just hold it there and cut out a slit, make it wide enough for the light to fit in. Then I've also taken, and there's a little lip on each one of these lights that I just sand off just a little bit each side. So let me show you that. Now I can take this, put it in, and it'll be just barely visible, but the light will shine. And now I can bend these so they follow the contour of the shell. And now take a hot glue gun and fill that cavity. So that maintains the shape of the shell and it'll go up against a wall and the light I'll show you in a minute. So here's what the shell looks like. So from the front or from the side and the flickery LED does a good job making it look like a lantern. It'll be on the wall, kind of like that, maybe, depending on your view. Let me go shut the lights off. But wait till you see what I've done with the ship. If you watched the movie, the lower decks of the ship are full of sea life, things that are growing. And uh, I think the 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 crew, part of the crew, part of the ship, because they're all individually starting to turn into sea creatures. So I have created this little world in the very lowest level of the ship. Now, this is going to have the lower deck, and then you'll have the upper deck up here. So it's not going to show much. It won't show at all except for the open side of the ship. I'm anxious to get your opinions on what you think. I'm actually thrilled with it. I think once I get it covered and you're just barely seeing in there and you're having those flickering lights, it's going to make this ship very special. I found both the miniature shells and these moss selections. At Hobby Lobby, this bag was $6.49, and this larger bag was $10.99. It was not in their craft area. It was over where artificial flowers and those kind of supplies in the store as opposed to the crafting area or model railroad area. I was able to buy a 12-inch long drill bit and I've drilled holes all the way through. I should have drilled these holes before I put this together. 
I knew that, and again, this is the second time I've had to do it after the ship, ship is together. So I've got it through here, and this is gonna be for my lighting for the uh, lower deck. So I have the lights at the uh, bottom of the ship, which is not, not really a deck. And then this deck will go in, the return wires will go to the back of the ship, similar to what I did with these. And this is just temporary, that's not gonna stay like that. I, I put the lower deck in place. I've got some glue on it, some weight on it, hold it in position. Now maybe you get a better idea. This is the backside that will never show. And I was testing to see what it would look like and I glued a bunch of shells on this side. You can see them in there. This will not be viewable from anywhere. I have the lower deck in place, and now you can get an idea of how this scenery down here, although you won't be able to see all the way through the ship, this will give you an idea of what it looks like below deck. parts you have to make and this resembles a capstan to me not sure what it is yet but uh, you start out you cut all the pieces and then you put these four at 90 degree angles and then you can just put the additional ones in between and it gives you the perfect shape I'm making this whole thing and I've made good progress here it has you drill a 1.5 millimeter hole in the top I've done that but I don't know why, because I don't see where in the instructions is there anything that you do with it. Interesting. We'll see as I go along. Or maybe a viewer knows why I'm doing this. On this particular piece, I am pretty much finished with it. I'll, I'll probably put some light stain on it. Another example where my miniature belt sander came in handy. I pretty much did all this shaping using the bell sander just holding it at an angle and then rotating each piece around same thing with the bottom part fitting it in there now i did use a small hand file from time to time to just make sure it was correct or to to fine tune it i suppose but worked out pretty well one of my favorite tools as i've said before another thing that i will do if something is made out of plywood this has three layers and you can see the layers I'll take a black marker you could also use black paint I'll darken that so it won't show up as well this will mount on the ship and that that edge would be show, showing so it'll just show dark instead of the three layers of plywood simple thing but Simple things sometimes make the ship. Here's a view of those completed uh, parts in place. This piece and then the ladder that went back here. So that ladder comes down and rests on that uh, framing beam right there. Just a couple quick things here. On making the ladders, I found it easier to put each step in place. They're tight enough that they'll stay get them all in and then flip and from the underside or the back side of the ladder just a drop of CA glue on each side and that helped the ladders turn out really well. One more comment on ladders when it shows you building here a couple actually that's the only instruction you'll get on building ladders so you can build them all now and then put them in place when you come to that section. Something that I had not mentioned the kit that I bought did come with paints and stains I have not been using them, but I thought I should explain them. In the instructions, when you see this reference 192.11, there are two places to find it. In the written instructions, it will mention that number when you're supposed to stain or paint something. And then on the actual bottles, for example, I know that this is the one. This is walnut dye. And on the bottle itself, it also has the reference number 19211. 
that will help guide you if you're using the paints and stains that come with the ship. I may use some of them, but as of yet, I have not. I'm not sure why, just because I, I really like uh, dark red mahogany stain, but I probably will utilize some of these throughout the ship. This will be the end of segment three. I've got the uh, supports for the upper deck in place. I just temporarily set some cargo there. I'm just playing with what it might look like. I've got a lot of work to do on that. And when you get back to the back of the ship, you can see I have a lot of electrical wiring to figure out and hook up. This will be the view down here minus the electrical wiring. That's it for part three of my building the Flying Dutchman. I've taken a lot of liberties on this build to make it unique and special for me. And I encourage you to do the same in your builds. Maybe not all of them. Some of them need to be historically accurate. But this ship is full of fun and let your imagination go wild. This is Boiler Dan 1, and as always, thanks for watching.